Adding a scope to a gun is a definite must have for any VR shooter. However, it's a very interesting little challenge to undertake. Unlike your typical shooter, a player can look at a scope in any number of ways when they're in VR. Because of this, the way that the scope is viewed has to constantly change as well based off of and reposition itself based off of however a player is looking at it. So in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to create two different materials that will help you not only create, not only add a reticle to a scope, but also add in a zoomed in effect for if you want to have a sniper scope or something like that. But before we go ahead and jump into that, if you enjoy this video and want to see even more just like this one, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below. And while you're down there, let me know what other types of tutorials you would like to see in the future. And with that, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, so before we go ahead and jump into this and get started on uh, developing the scope, there's two things I want to note here. Uh, first off, I won't be doing a test within VR like I usually would, uh, simply because uh, it's not really necessary for this specific tutorial. Uh, typically, I like to do a test in VR, but this will actually be using a lot of materials, so we'll actually be able to see all this within Engine. Um, you, we won't really need to jump into VR in order to see all this in action, so uh, I won't be doing a VR test like I usually would. The second thing I want to note real quick is that I'll be using, I'll be doing my best to use textures that are available to you within the engine here. Um, I, more specifically, I'll be using a texture from the engine content um, in order to try and keep things a little bit simpler, but I'll be showing you what the texture looks like as well and briefly explain um, why we're using this specific texture and uh, what, what we need if you wanted to add in a new texture later on or replace the reticle um, because we'll be using this for both the reticle and the scope. Um, so, but I'll, I'll briefly show you that as well. Uh, so let's go and start uh, by opening up our content browser. I'm going to want to create a new folder. This is going to be called materials. And of course, the first thing that we're going to want to make here is a material. <laughs> uh, I'm going to call this reticle and let's go and open this up. Let me bring this up here real quick. All right, so now we have our reticle material open here. Um, there's a couple things that I want to do before we go and start adding in nodes, that, the nodes that we need in all of this. Um, to start out, I actually wanna change our blend mode to translucent. If you don't see these, by the way, over here, these details, click on the reticle here. Um, it'll actually give you access to this. Um, but the reason we actually want to change this to translucent is we want access to this opacity node here. Uh, this will actually be used to uh, we'll, we'll actually be grabbing the alpha from our texture that we'll be using and we'll be feeding it into our opacity here in a second um, in order to uh, in order to make our reticle look correct. Um, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, and, and for personal preference, I'm also gonna change our preview mesh here to a plane. Uh, this just looks a little bit better when we're trying to mess around with the uh, reticle here. Um, so I'm just changing this to a plane for personal preference. Uh, all right. So with that out of the way, let's go and start by adding in a texture sample. Uh, and the texture we're gonna to wanna to use is going to be called, uh, I think it's called Sphere Render Height Map. There it is, uh, Sphere Render Height Map. Uh, this is gonna be the texture that we're actually gonna use. We're gonna be using this for the scope um, material as well. Um, and we actually wanna feed our alpha here into opacity. Um, but before we get go too far ahead here, um, I actually wanna show you this real quick. Uh, you can actually see this is under engine content and then it's under functions, engine material functions, example content, textures. If you want, you can follow that path, um, but you should be able to find it, no problem. But this is what our texture looks like. You can see that we have a, uh, we have our circle here with a transparent background. Um, so we'll actually be using this. Um, this transparency is actually what resembles our alpha. Uh, from what I recall, so we'll actually be using, so, so that's why it'll, we're actually feeding our alpha into our opacity. It'll actually remove all of this background, so we won't have it here. Um, but yeah, so if you want to use a different reticle though, you can change this texture here. Um, and you can actually see it, it's already taken out that background here. Uh, we're, we're now left with just a circle here. Um, anyways, uh, going on from that, next thing we're gonna wanna do is we're going to want to, uh, let's start over here uh, with our UVs. We're going to want to start by scale by uh, scale UVs by center. Um, now this section here is actually optional. I'll actually be using this to uh, scale our uh, texture here. So I actually want to add a constant to this texture scale. 
and I'm actually going to add a constant here. And I found that 0.5 tends to work pretty well, so I'll be using that. And then I'm also going to want to, uh, from our UVs, we're going to want to oh, bump offset. Don't worry if it seems a, a little bit big or small right now. Uh, this bump offset will fix that. <laughs> Um, and then we need to add uh, co another constant to our height here in order to fix that error. And I'm actually gonna set this to negative 250. Um, that tends to work pretty well there. There we go. And there we go. Uh, so if you want to, by the way, change the scale of your reticle later on, you can change this value. This will actually allow for you to increase or decrease the size of your reticle. Um, that's entirely up to you. And then one more change I would like to make over here is I actually want to grab a vector parameter and I'm gonna call this color. We're gonna multiply this value, um, our, our color parameter there, and our RGB. And this is going to go into emissive color. Now this is actually gonna be used, we can change the color of our reticle. So I'm actually gonna change this to like a green. I think green will be kinda of nice. Let's see here, there we go. And you can actually see right there, it immediately changed color. So we can actually go right in here. We can change it to say like a blue, for example. You can see it changes colors there. Don't worry about these lines right here. This is something that happens in the material preview. You won't see this in the final version once we have this in the scene. Um, but yeah, you can use this to kind of change the color of your reticle as you please. So let's go and apply and save that. I'm gonna go and close out of this and let's go and see what this looks like real quick. Uh, let me go and scroll right up here. Let's go and create a shape plane and I'm actually gonna rotate this forward a little bit. 90, there we go. And then I'm gonna take this reticle material and apply that there. And you can actually see we get, oh, I can't see it very well. Hold on, let me grab this. <laughs> Uh, do, 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 do. There it is. And you can actually see as we move along, we can actually see that it actually moves with us. So as you can see, as we move right, it'll move to the right. As we move to the left, it'll move to the left, or at least appearingly so in the material. And as we move up and down, it uh, moves up and down with us. And it's actually fairly stationary. Um, I don't know how clearly you can see that, but it's actually fairly stationary to where we are pointing our material at here which is quite nice. Um, so now let's go ahead and take this. We're actually gonna use this to develop our scope. Um, so to start out, let's go ahead and jump into our content here. I'm actually gonna create a new folder here, call this Blueprints. And the Blueprint, oh, and we're gonna to wanna to create a Blueprint class of actor, and I'm gonna call this Scope. Go and open this up. And here in our scope, we're gonna to need to do a couple things. First, we're going to need to uh, get a scene capture component 2D. Um, there we go. And I'm actually gonna change this to our root component. Uh, you don't have to, it's honestly fine if it's not. But I'm gonna change that to the root component. And then I'm also gonna grab two planes here. Uh, first one I'm gonna call scope. The second one, here we'll get, get a second here. I'm gonna call reticle. Now I'm actually gonna keep these two attached to each other. Uh, the reason being is that we're actually going to overlay, we're gonna overlap this, that reticle material that we've made over this uh, new material that we'll apply to a second plane. Um, and with them overlapped on top of one another, it'll actually look like a proper scope here. Um, and we won't need to do a, as much configuration to our scope material or anything like that. Uh, so let's go ahead, uh, actually adjust some of this. Let's go ahead and bring this forward. I'm actually gonna bring this, 90, and bring this forward. And actually, this is something I'm gonna do real quick too. Um, if I recall, our scope material will actually be rotated 90 degrees, so I'm actually gonna rotate this that way. Um, and I'm also gonna bring our reticle forward just a little bit. Let's see here, let's do you know, like five. Yeah, I think five is pretty good. And let me change this to reticle. And that actually gives us our reticle material, as you can see right there. Um, now we're here to our scene capture component coming back here. 
we're going to need to do a couple things here real quick. Um, so first off, we're going to want to jump over here into our texture target, and we actually need a texture that we can apply here. Uh, now we can create a new one. However, I'm gonna go and create one right over here within our content browser. I'm gonna create a new folder called textures. And going right on over, I believe, if I call it under materials and textures, and we're going to need to make a render target. And I'm just gonna call this Oh, scope uh, texture. And we're gonna come back to this in just one second. Uh, but jumping right over here, we're going to want to uh, come right over here and we're just gonna to want to apply that to our texture target here. And then I'll actually take whatever is seen from our scene capture here and it's gonna apply that to this texture so we can actually modify this here in a second in order to make our scope material. And it'll actually make it zoomed. Uh, or, and it can actually make it zoomed as well. So it actually works pretty nicely for a uh, for, so, for something like a sniper or something like that. And if you actually want to modify the field of view, you can actually come right over here. I'm actually gonna decrease this a bit just to get a cool looking effect here. I'm gonna try 35. I think 35 will be pretty good. Um, and that's all that we need here. So let's actually come right on back over here. And I'm going to go ahead and right click on this. I'm gonna uh, on our scope texture. I'm going to create material and I'm going to call this scope material. And actually I'm going to move this over to the materials as well just to keep things somewhat organized here. Um, and you may have a delay here at this point. Uh, it's just going to take a second so um, before we can actually make any modifications. Um, but essentially what we're going to do here is we're actually going to uh, take our uh, texture that we are, that we are getting from the scope texture, and we will be uh, modifying that to act correctly. All right, so going ahead and opening up our scope material here, um, you should have already scope texture here within our texture sample. And I actually want to come right over here too, and I want to change uh, again our scope material to translucent again. Um, I'm also going to change that to a plane. And we're gonna need to do a couple things here real quick. So let's actually go and start. Um, I'm actually gonna disconnect this for a second because we want to, we're gonna need to do some modifications here. Um, so let's actually go and start up here. We're going to want to, like we did with our reticle, we're going to want to scale ooh, UVs by center. Um, and this will essentially be the same, uh, this will be very similar to what we did before. Um, I'm going to set our texture scale. Uh, let's do constant. And I think 25 will be a pretty good value for this one. Um, 25 should be pretty good. And again, I'm going to take a bump offset. And our height, we're going to want to, again, set to the same constant that we had in our uh, reticle. So I'm gonna set this to negative 250. There we go. And that's going to be the main portion of our scope. This will actually work as just a general scope right here. Um, this will basically be zoomed in. However, I, if you look at a lot of uh, sniper scopes, you actually get like a kind of a black uh, outer edge as you look at it from, from a uh, high angle. So I actually want to apply that to here as well. In order to do that, I'm actually going to take a texture sample and we're going to use that same uh, sphere, sphere render height map that we had used before. And I'm going to want to do again some of the same adjustments that we have up here. Actually, I'm going to go and copy this and we're just going to need to make a couple of changes to our constants here. Uh, we're going to go and change this to say 1.25. Um, I found that 1.25 is, is a pretty good value for the most part. And I actually want to change this bump offset to negative five. And then in order to uh, combine these together and add these to the base color, um, I'm actually going to want to bring this down. I'm going to multiply our, uh, our, our scene capture by our outer edge and add that to our base color. And that will actually give us a nice looking sniper scope here. And so let me go ahead and apply, save this. Unfortunately, you won't see this because right now it's not capturing any scene. So let's go ahead, jump right back over here. Um, and we need to, um, actually I almost forgot, we need to apply that material as well to our scope. Oh, that's the wrong thing. 
scope material. And then we go and jump right over here and we add this to the scene. Let me go and bring this up and I'm actually gonna rotate this around so you can see. And you can actually see, we actually get a pretty nice looking scope here. And you can actually see as we move around the scope itself actually moves around with us. And you can actually see too, we have our reticle right over here. And as I actually rotate this around, hopefully we can somewhat see, and you can actually see that our, our materials both rotate and update with us. Um, there is one thing that I do wanna do. If you look really closely, you can actually see it looks a little bit blurry. And if we try to look at other actors as well, you'll see it a little bit more. So what I actually wanna do as well, I wanna jump right on over to our textures here. I actually wanna change this to 1048 by 1048. And that'll actually make it look a little bit clearer. And you can actually definitely see that that looks much clearer than what we were looking at before. And with that, that's how you develop materials for both a reticle and a scope material, as well as how to use them both together in order to create one entirely new actor that can be used in any VR shooter. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below. And I also want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters who you should see listed over here on the right. And with that, I will see you in the next reality.